Hey there guys, welcome to my backyard, my patio, my pool tour. My name is Renee and this is Welcome to My Curls. This is my channel. And in the past, I've done several patio tours. I did one last spring, just kind of showing you all around and introducing you to my patio area. Then when I did one in the fall, I showed you what it looked like when things start to change back here and you all loved those videos and have been asking me for more. So here we go. This is my 2021 patio tour. Welcome to my patio tour video. Finally, oh my gosh. This is a video I've been trying to make for about three weeks. Seriously, everything that could go wrong went wrong. This has been at the top of my video list for, sir, wait, stop, y'all see this? Pollux, buddy, we got you on camera, dude. We, you're busted. But this is the video I have been trying to make no joke for about three weeks. Horrible weather. It snowed. It rained for like a week straight. The pool turned green. Like everything went wrong, y'all. But finally, here I am. This is my patio tour, my backyard tour, my pool tour. You all love when I do these videos and share with you like my flowers and the wheat and all the things. And we have made a lot of substantial changes back here this spring. So welcome to my patio tour. Let me start off by just giving you a super quick spin of our yard, just so that you kind of have in your head what our property looks like, and then I'll kind of break it down and show you around. So I've decided to start this tour on the side of the house, and actually, I think it's my favorite spot. It's Pollux's wheat. Y'all know Pollux. He is the dog we adopted a year and a half ago, and he has taken this wheat and turned it into his doggy cave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, Pollux, can we show him the wheat, buddy? You all love to watch the wheat grow. Um, it's, it's not called wheat, I know. It's technically called fountain grass. So many varieties of fountain grass. I honestly don't know which one this is, but we've had it planted here about, I don't know, seven or eight years, and Pollux loves the fountain grass. So we have six big plumes of fountain grass planted here, and they all grow together and make this huge, mountain cave of fountain grass but in between each one is a little pathway and Pollux loves to get in there and hide and play and he puts his toys in the grass every single day then there's my day lilies and because it's spring these have really not started to bloom yet we've got one this is the biggest best one but you can see there's lots I've got lots getting ready to pop up here but we got daylilies. So when you come in our backyard, we have Euronymus and Hosta, lots of daylilies here. We have, this is called Blue Pacific Juniper. We do put pine needles down everywhere. And then this is Pollux's wheat. Maxer, are you showing them the flowers? Yeah. So we have flowers. I got these pots. Move, Mooey. Can you move, Mooey? Can you just move? Okay, so I got the pots, y'all, at Sam's Club. They still have them. I saw them the other day. They still have them, different colors, different versions, but I got the pots from Sam's. So on our patio, we do have one flower, two flower, and then this is new. We decided to put in just plastic planters, plant the diplodenias in there, and they will, in probably the next couple of weeks, just get huge. It, this entire thing will be a huge mountain of blooming red diplodenia. So I'm so excited about that. I want to show y'all something super special. We have a bird's nest and this little mama bird every single year builds her nest on our speaker, our outdoor speaker. She does it every single year. And I did a video not too long ago where I was out here cleaning and Pollux discovered that part of Mama Bird's nest had fallen down and it was laying in the rocks right here. And everybody was so concerned about Mama Bird. Never fear, she fixed it. She has babies up there right now. And it's really hard for me to show you her because <laughs> she's in a really awkward spot. Pollux, you found Mama Bird's nest, didn't you? You see Mama Bird up there? What you doing, Mama Bird? I think Mama Bird's talking to you, bud. One of my other favorite spots is my lounge chairs. You will find me here um, 
most days, honestly, seriously, most days. We got these lounge chairs. They're wicker lounge chairs. We got them at Sam's Club. We've had ours probably four, this might be the fourth season for them. They still sell them at Sam's Club today. The cushions came from Sam's Club and the cushions are sold separately, of course. So most days you will find me right here with Maxie in the lounge chair. We just soak in the sun. We enjoy our day by the pool. Pollux runs around, and when Pollux gets hot, he will hide underneath my lounge chair when he doesn't want to go inside. It's super sweet. <laughs> but these lounge chairs are fantastic. So let's talk about my diplodemias. This is what everybody wants to talk about. I introduced you all to diplodemias last spring when I was planting them. Diplodemias are my favorite flower for so many reasons. Our pool area is in full sun all day long, every single day, like all day heat. And so diplodemias love the heat. They love it dry. They are super sun tolerant and they are perfect for having around your pool. These are red diplodemias. I know you can get them in white, pink, and maybe, maybe yellow. Not sure, but I just love the red. That's what I always get. In the next month or so, they will completely overtake this planter. They will hang down. They're just huge and gorgeous. So they have blooms just like this all the way until the first frost in the fall. And when a bloom is done, it just kind of dries up like that and falls off. You don't have to pick them. You don't have to mess with them. They are just they, they do their own thing. That's why they are the perfect plant for in the sun. Oh, there's a good look at the planter. Sam's Club, y'all. If you're in the need for flowers that love the heat and the sun, definitely get Diplodenias. Diplodenia. <laughs> I, I will write it in the description box below. And they come in a vine version and a bush version. You want to make sure if you're going to put them in a planter, you get the bush version. And mine came in three gallon buckets. I think you can also get them in one gallon. There's the doggy door. You all know the whole, <laughs> the whole debacle with the doggy door that we got for Pollux. I've given up like we tried all last year to train him. This is this is what we've come up with, and I think I'm just gonna have to live with it. Right, Moo? <laughs> we had to roll up the doggy door and secure it with chip clips to this height. Pollux will go underneath it. He doesn't mind it if this touches his back. He's totally fine with it, but if I let it down any further and where he has to actually poke it with his nose or head to get it to flap open, He's not going to do it. He just stands on either side and barks at me. So, we're making a compromise. The doggy door is in the screen door, but we do have this open hole right here. And it just is what it is, y'all. <laughs> See you up there. He is happy as a clam. He goes in and out this door all day long. <laughs> so, we're just going to compromise and let it be what it is. See there? Get your pig. Oh, pig went back inside. I guess maybe we have enough animals right now. Oh. We have a dinosaur, a seahorse, a hippo, and a pig already in the yard in the wheat. Uh-oh. And he's off. And now we have a pig. Pollux, you have the whole entire zoo out here, buddy. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about my new patio furniture. This patio furniture, oh my gosh huge purchase but it had to be done our other patio furniture we had two sets of tables out here one table and chairs we moved over here it's still fine we have restuffed the cushions a couple times it's just old like our patio furniture seriously is 13 years old so we decided to get rid of one table and i wanted a, like a couch style a big cushy chair couch style patio set this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm gonna tell you what, we went everywhere. We went to Lowe's, we went to Home Depot, we went to our local like patio furniture places. Everything we saw was super expensive and dinky. Like seriously, dinky. I feel like if the wind blew, it was gonna blow it over. I went into Sam's Club, y'all Sam's Club, seriously? Boom, this was sitting in Sam's Club and I fell in love. So look how substantial this is. It is like a, the wickery type stuff, plasticky stuff, but it is thick and substantial and it is so heavy. 
This furniture is not moving if the wind blows. It came with two sets of cushions. You have a back cushion, you have a little decorative cushion. The seats were just really wide and substantial. I loved everything about it. The colors, it came with everything you see here. So you had two chairs, the couch and the table. And y'all, this table weighs 165 pounds. Oh my goodness. But this is, I think, porcelain. So it is super heavy. Love it. One thing that sold me about this furniture set is it came with covers. And so each piece, there are four pieces in the set, each piece had its own cover. They perfectly fit the furniture. And then they have a little strappy tie thing right here that you tighten it up so the wind doesn't blow it off. But this is like good, really good sturdy covers definitely a selling point when we decided to buy this. I love the fact that it's a couch and not a table and chairs. And honestly, we very rarely eat a meal outside. I just don't. It's just kind of buggy and gnats. And so I will come out here. I love to drink my morning coffee outside. I will have lunch out here. I will have snacks and we're out at the pool, but I just loved the comfy, comfy, comfy couch. Oh, love it. Pikes. There's no dogs on the couch, buddy. You get, oh, you're not listening to me though. Okay. And of course, because we're in the sun all day long out here, I needed an umbrella to go with the patio set. And at Sam's, this set did not come with an umbrella. It actually came with the big like wooden style gazebo, which I did not want. I just wanted a big old umbrella that I could tilt and move and have it, you know, move with the sun. And I found it on Amazon. It's a 10 foot market umbrella. So you open it up, it has like an angled umbrella on it and you can twist and turn and move and bend the umbrella all day long, however you want it. When the sun moves, you move it. It is fantastic. And the umbrella sits on this really big base. It comes in four sections. And then we filled each section with sand. So it is not going anywhere. The base is sold separately. But they did have a bundle package on Amazon. So that's what we did. We wanted a super heavy duty base for the umbrella. We got everything on Amazon. It showed up within three days of our order. It was kind of crazy. They had all of these colors to choose from as far as the canopies. Um, this is called the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, light, light khaki, khaki, something like that. <laughs> they also had a dark brown, sort of a chocolate color that I also loved. I was torn between the two colors, but I went with the light. And let me tell y'all a, a little secret tidbit about this umbrella. It is from a company called Wiki Wiki Patio Umbrellas. And again, it's on Amazon. And I didn't know this until after I ordered the umbrella, but I opened the package and there was a little insert in the package and it said if you went on Amazon and you left a review of the umbrella and you text this certain um, text a code to a certain number they will send you a free cover a free one of these covers my free cover showed up the other day I, I think that is a huge bargain leave a review get a free cover you can't beat that y'all seriously you cannot choose the color of your free color unfortunately anyway but they sent me navy blue so it's totally fine so if something happens to this one if it gets dirty or damaged or i just change my mind on a color i'll just pop on my navy blue so highly recommend if you are in need of a patio umbrella get it on amazon wiki wiki patio furniture fantastic umbrella and then there's my husband's big purchase. I asked you all in another video if anybody had that robot pool vacuum that looks like a, a weird bulldozer-y thing and everybody told me you had one. How am I the only person that did not have one of these robot vacuums? Randy's been coming out here and vacuuming this pool by himself for 13 years. So here he is, meet Finley. This is our robot pool vacuum. <laughs> We have two robot vacuums in the house, so I figured, you know what? Randy comes out here several times a week and vacuums the pool. It takes him a long time. It's a lot of work. You got to get out the holes and the things and, you know, whatever. 
So he started looking into these new high-tech robot pull vacuums. And we did it. We bit the bullet, we spent the money, it's here. We've had it a couple weeks. And I gotta say, it's actually really great. It has been worth the money. Every single moment I look out here, my pool is clean and shiny, literally. We have him on a timer every morning at eight o'clock. He starts cleaning the pool. Takes him about an hour and a half, two hours. So by the time I decide to come outside for the day, my pool is shiny and sparkly and clean. And I absolutely love it. Look at that. Don't Finley go. I almost forgot something, y'all. Almost forgot something. This is my new favorite thing. Okay, so we're out here. You can tell we live in the country. There's one house way, 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 way back there. And they just built that house they finished last fall. There's a lake between them and us. We decided to order these solar powered light bulbs. This is what it looks like out here at nighttime. So what started this whole light bulb thing? You all know I own an ice cream shop in the downtown where I live. The city where I live installed these light bulbs down the cobblestone streets, right in front of our ice cream shop. They did it last summer and they were so cute. It just, the ambiance, I love the lights in front of our ice cream shop, fantastic. And so I thought, well, we can have these around our pool. So we got on Amazon and we found the lights. So these are solar powered. And I was thinking after they've been on for a couple hours, they would start to get dim. They would like, you know, tuck her out. Wrong. These things are bright and white all night long. And they stay that way until the sun comes up the next morning. It is amazing. And even on like a hazy cloudy day like today, the lights get enough solar power to be bright all night long. You don't have to have a sunny day for these lights to work. So we installed the lights all the way around. We have lights everywhere from gate to gate. They hang on a wire. They look just like this. And we hung them on the gate with the black wire tie. And there is a light every three feet. Each strand, I believe, was 48 feet. And so to do our entire pool area, we only had to have two strands. And then you have one solar panel per strand of light. It just clips on, see it has a clip, boop, boop. And it catches all your sunlight to power your bulbs. So last spring when we adopted Pollux, we put in this fence. This entire fenced in yard is just for Pollux. Not even kidding just for Pollux. We used to have three miniature schnauzers and we had an invisible fence. The schnauzers wore their little collars. They never left the yard. I didn't have to worry about them, but there was no way in heck that I was comfortable because Pollux has so much energy and he is so fast. So we decided to have this fence installed. So now Pollux and Maxie have the run of the entire yard. And honestly, it was money well spent because it gives me peace of mind knowing when they're outside, they're not gonna get away. Nothing's going to get them. <laughs> they can just come and go. I always have an eye on them. I always know where they are, but they can just come and go with their leisure. And they have all this yard to run and play in. What are you two up to? He's getting in his spot where he can watch everything. And then this is Randy's section. Oh my goodness. Y'all know he has so many grills. You know we love to cook. Randy loves to grill. And we have condensed. We actually got rid of a really old broken down grill. And now we're down to three. You have your Weber. Your typical little charcoal kettle grill. We have a big fancy Weber gas grill. And then we have a Green Mountain pellet smoker. Gotta have a smoker apparently. 
So this is Randy's favorite little corner and this is where you will find him tonight cooking me dinner. So thanks for watching my patio tour guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite spots in the house. I am so glad that all those years ago, 13 years in fact, we decided to put in this pool, expand our backyard. This really has become part of my living space. I spend so many hours of my day out here just hanging on the furniture, in the pool, in the lounge chair, messing around with my flowers, out in the yard with the dogs. I just love my outdoor space and I hope you did too. Yep, that's what I said. No doggies on the couch, but nobody listens to mom. I think I'm going to sit it kind of right here until I have to go to work today, but I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.